Hats and boots left at the fire station. A day off means a visit to Copley Place for these Boston firefighters. The rest of their group is just arriving. Bright smiles as they step off the bus. These kids are in outpatient treatment at Shriners Hospitals for Children, Boston. They own the mall, walking through, flanked by their firefighter friends, and head into Sir La Table for Pasta Making 101. You're gonna make your own spaghetti from the beginning to the end. This cooking class, one of countless outings made possible by Team Brave, a program partnered with Shriners and funded by the Boston Firefighters Burn Foundation. Oh, I got a little messy. That's all right. Director of the foundation, with a mix of tenderness and humor, encourages Michelle to take the lead. It's in the hole. Turns out Michelle's a pro. I think I've done it. It's um, fun and there's more kids so you make um, more friends. Calling all plays for the team is a Shriners Child Life Specialist. Here she only goes by coach. We're with them through stress points, whether it's teaching them about a surgery or helping them through a dressing change. So being here out in the community is just amazing to see them thriving and they're meeting other burn survivors, and it's just kind of like normalizing it for them. Every other week, all year round, Team Brave is off on adventures. Their firefighter teammates, all volunteers, always there. I've done rock climbing, I've done yoga, and I've done bowling. We'll take them to New England Aquarium, we'll take them yoga, Zumba. Which is pretty scary, seeing me Zumba is pretty scary. <laughs> Firefighter Turley helped start the Burn Foundation in 2002 and Team Brave about four years ago. The hope was to help children with traumatic burn injuries gradually feel more comfortable going out into their communities. It's working. To be a part of a team really helps build confidence. It can be intimidating going into the community and dealing with stairs, so this really helps to build their confidence. The really important part after the acute care is taking care of their minds. Eileen Skinner is the top administrator at Shriners. Team Brave is one of those absolutely essential pieces. The Boston firefighters are just amazing in terms of how they interact with kids. It makes us pretty proud that we're able to be a part maybe just a little bit of helping those patients along. The resilience of the kids is inspiring. They tackle each task for this spaghetti dinner. They do it together. We don't have to really worry about anything. We don't have to worry about like um, the skins. Like in skins, we can be all different. With these accidents, usually like you can get into depression and all that. But here in Team Bray, they can show you a lot of stuff, how to socialize and show you that you can do more stuff than, than what you think. Protecting others is what firefighters sign up for. This is a different kind of rescue. Maybe they have to do more important stuff, but they take the time to come here and it's really cool. Firefighter Turley would never argue with Michelle, except on that point. Nothing could be more important than this. He explains by quoting a patient. She said it best is, I am not this skin, but I'm the person within. And that was a great, those are great stories to hear that, that they finally come out and believe that, and, and it's true. And firefighter Turley says the idea for the Burn Down Foundation actually began um, after a number of fire rescues. Yeah, he said the firefighters were seeking a connection to burn victims and their families. The foundation provides emotional and financial mm. support. And that is Chronicle for tonight. I'm Shana Seymour. Thanks for joining us. And I'm Anthony Everett. Have a great evening. Hope to see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle. Good night.